Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about how hearing aids with professional hearing care could potentially slow down memory loss. Coming up. Do you worry that your memory just isn't as good as it used to be? Well, with all the news stories lately talking about hearing loss and dementia, you may be wondering if your hearing loss has something to do with it. For over a decade now, the scientific community has been reporting links between hearing loss and cognition. The study that seemed to kick all of this off was out of Johns Hopkins in 2011, where they identified that individuals with a mild hearing loss were two times more likely to develop dementia, individuals with moderate hearing loss were three times more likely, and individuals individuals with a severe to profound level hearing loss were five times more likely to develop dementia later in life. Since that data was published, we have seen dozens of other studies that have come out talking about this link between hearing loss and cognition and changes in brain function. Like this study from Drs. Anu Sharma and Hannah Glick out of the University of Colorado at Boulder, where they identified that individuals with untreated hearing loss change where their brains process information and treatment with hearing aids tends to reverse those changes. Naturally, the topic that everyone in the audiology community has been debating is whether or not treatment with hearing aids would actually reduce your risk of cognitive decline and dementia, and by how much. Well, we may now actually have an answer to that question, but before I answer it, if you could do me a huge favor, click that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well, because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos, and I release a bunch of new videos every single week. That being said, it's greatly appreciated and a huge shout out to Oticon for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. In July of 2023, the long-awaited results of the three-year ACHIEVE study were finally published. The primary focus of the ACHIEVE study, led by Dr. Frank Lynn from Johns Hopkins, which is published in the Lancet Journal, was to determine if hearing intervention in the form of hearing aids and professional care would be able to slow down the rate of cognitive decline. In this three-year-long study, they recruited 977 participants who had untreated hearing loss and place them into one of two different groups, a hearing intervention treatment group who received hearing aids and professional care, and a successful aging health education control group. The participants had semi-annual follow-up visits from 2018 to 2021, where final outcomes of brain structure, mental health and well-being, physical function, healthcare use, and yes, cognitive decline were measured. So what did the researchers find when they took a look at the data? Well, they determined that there was no significant difference in the rate of cognitive decline between the treatment group and the control group. Video over, right? Wrong. When they took a deeper look at the data, what they identified was a 48% less reduction in test scores in cognitive performance for the group of individuals who were at a higher risk of dementia. So let me take a stab at what you're thinking right now. You're probably thinking, so which group of individuals was known to be at a higher risk of dementia, right? Well, the group that showed the slower decline in cognition were more likely to be older, female, black, have lower education levels, lower income levels, higher rates of diabetes and hypertension, and live alone. But the way they set up this study begs a huge question. How much did these results have to do with the hearing aids that they used in the study versus the professional care that was administered for these individuals using the hearing aids in this study? Bear with me here as I take a minute to read a section of this study that explains how all of these individuals were treated with their hearing aids. Participants who were randomly assigned to the hearing intervention completed four one-hour sessions with a study audiologist held every one to three weeks after randomization. Participants received by bilateral hearing aids fitted to prescriptive targets using real ear measures and other hearing assistive technologies to pair with the hearing aids. For examples, devices to stream smartphones and television and remote microphones to directly hear other speakers in difficult listening environments. The intervention included systematic orientation and instruction in device use and hearing toolkit materials for self-management and communication strategies. Reinstruction in the use of devices and hearing rehabilitation 
rehabilitative strategies was provided during booster visits held every six months. Essentially, not only did every single participant in the treatment group receive prescription hearing aids, but every single one of them also received best practice audiologic care. Naturally, this led me to another question, which is, would individuals who use over-the-counter hearing aids that do not come with any professional care receive the same amount of benefits when it comes to cognition? After all, receiving at least some benefit from the use of over-the-counter hearing aids would be better than receiving no benefit at all, right? Unfortunately, we cannot say that they would. Not only are over-the-counter hearing aids only intended for adults with mild to moderate hearing loss, but there is no guarantee that the individuals who use these over-the-counter hearing aids would actually be able to fit and program them properly. This is exactly why Oticon, today's video sponsor, believes that in order for you to receive optimal hearing and cognitive benefit, the professional hearing care is so important. Oticon develops and manufactures some of the most advanced hearing aids in the world, including their Oticon Real that uses brain hearing technology that was developed to support your brain in working more effectively. They also have some terrific assistive listening devices, including their TV adapter, their Connect Clip, and their EduMic that were designed to help provide you with a clearer speech signal and help you in background noise. But to receive the full amount of benefit with this technology and potentially slow down your rate of cognitive decline, these hearing aids have to be fit and programmed properly, which as you probably now know, requires the expertise of a hearing care professional to verify that they are meeting your hearing loss prescription and that you are given the proper amount of follow-up care to maintain your performance over time. When looking at the group of individuals who are able able to slow down their loss of thinking and memory abilities and improve their hearing with the use of prescription hearing aids and best practice care, it makes you wonder if a group of individuals with over-the-counter hearing aids without professional care would achieve the same results. And honestly, it's probably going to be a long time before we know the answer to that question. As of right now, the participants who are in this original study are already in another study taking a look at the long-term effects on hearing loss and cognition using prescription hearing aids with best practice audiologic care. Which means that we will not be able to take any results from this study to determine whether or not over-the-counter hearing aids would provide the same amount of benefit. With all that said, it has been a really long road to determine whether or not hearing aids would provide any positive impact on cognitive decline and dementia. As of right now, it looks like we have our answer at least for individuals who are already at a higher risk of dementia. 